everybody welcome back to our page so tonight it's pantry challenge day 24 I think it's day 24 I could be wrong but I'm thinking it's 24 and we're getting ready for guests so the pantry challenge if you're following me is very simple you cook or use anything that's in your pantry anything that's in your fridge your freezer and for us our outside freezer storage so tonight we're not cooking well we're gonna cook dinner but it'll be a little bit later on but we're getting ready to have a few friends over for a just a little get together and I'm gonna put together some snacks with things that are in my pantry so let me turn my camera around and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I have now remember that I coupon pretty heavily and very regularly so some of the things that I pulled out to use with my guests is I'm going to do a um, ranch dip so I have the Hidden Valley Ranch dip packet and the only thing you need to add to that is a 16 ounce of sour cream which I had that in my fridge because I had a coupon I'll set a coupon for that so we're gonna do a dip I'm also going to I pulled out some of my Chex Mix I think I have coupons for this so this is like a turtle Chex Mix I don't know that I'm eating any of this being on Weight Watchers y'all can't mess up my stuff but um so I've got Chex Mix that I'm going to pull out the next thing is is we had a couple of um we opened up these we got these after Christmas some Christmas pretzels and we've had this is what's left of them we actually have a couple of these in the freezer so I'm going to put these out on a tray with the Chex Mix. So let's head over to our pantry. Those things I pulled out a little bit earlier. Their sister, she's doing the dishes. Hey, girl. Um, so let's see what I have up here in my pantry that I could use. I've got all kinds of Chex Mix. So I've got cheddar. I've got bowl flavor. If I want to use some of the um, mini pretzels, people would probably like those to go with some of the dip. So I'm going to pull that out. Um, and then I'm probably going to do a little bit of a signature drink. So let me see. Here. Some ocean spray. This um, ocean spray juice. And then I have from in the fridge, I've got a couple. I have um, some juice that I had on a coupon as well. So this is like an orange peach mango. And that is a cranberry raspberry. So I'm gonna make a signature drink with those two items. And then I'm also going to brew a cup of, I mean a pot of coffee. So they're gonna be here in like 30 minutes because we're supposed to start at seven. So sister is helping me do some things like just getting all the dishes and stuff done. So normally when I'm having guests, what I do is I'll probably, and I'm, you know, I want to entertain. I'll probably pull down this little um, serving dish, serving ware. We'll rinse those off really quickly. Then I will also come over here and I'll pull out some of the fancy um, coffee mugs and put those down as we are up so that there's a ready-made coffee station. And then I'll pull out some of the other items that we would use with coffee. Like I've got fat-free creamer here that I had on a coupon. And then here's some salted caramel mocha um, creamer that I had before I stopped using that doing the Weight Watchers. So I'll put those couple of things here. Then I'll pull down my mug. I think there's gonna be three or four of us. I'm gonna have coffee black. But again, these are just things that I had on coupons or that I pulled out of my pantry and I'm just getting ready for guests. So I'm gonna put my camera down and start coming, uh, getting some things together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my glass bowl and I'm gonna make my ranch dip. So I'm just doing the dip that I bought ahead with the coupons and 16 ounces of, this is a breakstone. You can use any kind. This is a reduced fat uh, cream, uh, sour cream. It says refrigerate for an hour before you serve, but that's been in my um, freezer, in my refrigerator for quite a while so it is already cool but I will put it back in there so I'm just going to simply open this up I'm through an asthma flare in the house my son is just not well and there's the puppy in the kitchen negative the puppy is not allowed in the kitchen and that's something we all know pray for her 
Now, you don't have to do a whole, whole lot when people, you know, people that come to your house because they love you, they just come in because they love you. But what about extending hospitality towards people? That's what I always try to do. And that's why I coupon a lot because I may not always have something that, you know, I don't have the most ex extravagant or whatever, but I do know how to make it such. If you take, um, take say, a ready-made a ready -made dip, something you picked up on the way home, you knew you were having a few friends over, and you had to pick up something. Maybe you picked up a, a, a bowl of wings or a, a bucket of wings. If you bring home those wings, put them on a nice, pretty tray, people will think you slaved over over them them wings for the longest time I mean take it out of the wrapping I think there's something to be said about um, to me there's something to be said about going that extra mile I want y'all to be able to really see me so let me see if I can make my camera a little bit higher okay that's that's kind of somewhat better I'll just dip um, but there's something to be said about going the extra mile for people this took me probably three minutes. My dip is done. So all I had to do in that was I simply did the sour cream and then I did the ranch packet. That's done. That's gonna go with my pretzels, just some to Tostino chips, and then that's done. So that's one thing. I am gonna keep this container because if we use, we don't use all the dip because people will dip out what they want, not dip into the, the, bowl, the bowl directly. That's what the little plates are for. Then I'll put the rest of it in here. Me and the kids can snack on it because it is a reduced fat um, sour cream. We don't normally eat sour cream. It's not something that we love. I actually got, went to, um, where did I go? Oh, Harris Teeter. And they had the um, rotisserie chickens marked down. They were $6.49 marked down, $2. So $4.49, I got a chicken I could use. So let me see how I'm going to put some things together. Okay. Hmm trying to find some serving platters but I do need to put my coffee on so that can be going while I'm doing some other things always do the things ahead that you can do and then um, let those be going it's like laundry if you put your laundry on first thing in the morning then as you're doing other stuff the laundry's washing and then when you hear it buzz you change it over to the dryer and you go do something else so I always like to um, multitask and do multiple things at the same time I know not everybody does that but it just works for my life. So I'm just taking my coffee maker because the ladies that are coming tonight are coffee drinkers. And I actually have moved all of my coffee stuffs. I made a coffee cabinet. If you're following the home organization journey that I'm doing, oh, look at this. Y'all, look at the things you find, right? So in my coffee cabinet, this is just a little cup. I think one of my kids got this for me one Christmas ago, a couple Christmases. I, I don't, I don't. I had some of those little Dunkin' Donut um, creamer things. I'm not using these because of Weight Watchers, but somebody else might enjoy those. So I'm going to sit them out beside the coffee cups and then that's there. I'm also not using sugar and the late, one of the ladies doesn't use regular sugar either. Um, we do have a Stevia or Truvia or Zing packets. I think I have Zing packets. Oh, and then I have this. This is fun as well. So I just had this little basket that I got from the Dollar Tree. And because I coupon quite heavily, I, I get these um, Domino Sugar um, canisters. Probably for like 69, 65 cents or something like that. So I've got my sugar, if anybody wants that. I've got honey granules, if anybody wants that. And I also have the um, sweetener, the Zing packets, if anybody wants that. So I just keep this stuff in the coffee cabinet, and it's readily accessible. You can't see it, and it's already ready. Y'all think we would like some cute cups? I'll get some cute little cups. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. Here's one that says, um, ooh la la. You know, make people feel special and it comes with its own little spoon and one of the ladies that's coming tonight she actually gave me that and then here's a here's another one um that i got from a company that i did a um internship with this summer so that ripping that you hear is the puppy um ripping the velcro off of the back of the couch because we got our couches from 
um, walmart.com. Don't hate nobody. Everything that we're using now came out of our fridge, our freezer, our pantry, or our um, garage pantry. So what I've got going here is I have my coffee station, and this is set up for cream and sugars. If you do sh sugar, yes, no sugar, or non-sweeteners, fat sugar-free, and then salted caramel, that's kind of a uh, theme. Then I've got some cups here. So now I'm work. I did my dip. This was the ranch packet with the one thing of sour cream, and I have two little small bowls that I got from a um, a restore. I think I paid like 50 cent for these plates. And I'm gonna open up these holiday cakes. This one is helping me because she is moving stuff off of the table in the living room, and we're gonna put all the treats and snacks in there. Now, we did a rotisserie chicken, so here's an idea. If you had chips like this or any, you know, just tortilla chips, and you wanted to break your um, chicken up or tear your chicken into shreds, and you had, like, some of that um, salsa or you had um, that cheese sauce, you could do nachos if you wanted to have people over in your contribution because you knew what you had was that you could do nachos. So this is how this looks, and that's going to be presented just like that. It's only three ladies, and then my kids. Of course, Jackson doesn't feel real well. Then the next thing I did was I put together like this little mini um, tray of some things we had in the pantry closet. I had some mini pretzels. These are the Snyder's. I had a coupon. And then we found these um, chocolate-covered pretzels over at the uh, food line the day after Christmas, 70 90% off, 90% off. And then we have some turtle mix that is um, Chex turtle flavor. And then all you had to do was pick a couple of, um, you know, throwaways, like I did have out before. I had out my little small dishes, but I forgot that she was bringing children. So I'm just gonna do the regular um, paper products here. And then this will work for everybody. So we didn't do a whole, whole, whole lot. And Pantry Challenge really doesn't have to necessarily be about the cooking. It can be about the presentation. So this is exactly what we're going to present. And then I have, um, oh, there were a couple more things I wanted to put out, but I didn't have a tray for. So I'm going to try to find a pretty little tray because we've got some of these snack crackers um, that people do just kind of like to snack on. And I'm going to find a pretty little tray for this. And then I'm going to make a signature drink. And I'm going to add in one of the cranberry raspberry to one of the orange peach mango. And if you have like um, carbonated water or fizzy soda or Sprite, or even pineapple juice. You could put that in, throw in some um, ice cubes, and you've got yourself um, just an easy, quick um, put together for, for people that come over to your home. So anyway, we hope that you enjoyed the pantry challenge tonight. A little bit different than our normal, but still the pantry challenge. Um, give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think. We hope that you're you know, participating in the pantry challenge of some kind. And until next time, we see you in our kitchen. Bye.